2008, 2009, my wife started running 5Ks. And uh, I couldn't figure out why anybody would want to do that. But I started running with her to support her. And uh, being I have an addictive personality that it just uh, pushed me afterwards to, to keep running. So once I figured out the whole breathing thing and, and running thing and I could get past three miles without stopping, I decided I'd run a half marathon before I turned 39 that year. Got close to my birthday and I figured out I could run more than a half marathon. So I signed up to run a full marathon. After I signed up, I thought, what did you just do? Race morning, 25 degrees, toe the line. Just about four hours later, is a massive mile, 20, 21, 22. This euphoria just, just comes over you, you know? And uh, by mile 25, man, I just, so emotional about finishing this thing mile 26 the tears start coming down your face you know and uh and you see your kid waiting for you just before the finish line never thought i would do it across the finish line about four hours and 20 minutes just knew i was absolutely hooked we're at this breakfast time we started at the other one and now we're about to run back uh right now i'm showing seven miles i can be off just a little bit but going back so it could be a good 14 mile run today. I decided since I did a marathon before I turned 39, before I turned 40, I was gonna run 40 miles. Trained all summer in October, set out on a Saturday morning, set up a loop and uh, went for it. Started at five o'clock in the morning and uh, Seven hours later, I got back to my car, mile 32, I was ready to quit. No way am I finishing this thing. And my wife and daughter were there and they encouraged me to get up and they said, you're not quitting now. And uh, they got me walking again. We'd find a little point to run to. We'd run a little bit, walk a little bit. And finally, I see this old man walking with a walker. I'm like, I'm not letting this guy beat me. And I push through it, finish the last 5K of that. From that point on, ultras had to be my thing, man. So for most people, ultra running is the limit. Doing a 50K, a 50 miler, a 100 miler is just crazy. But what these guys did was nuts. The beach run was born out of kind of boredom between myself and friend John Gordon. We were kind of tired of overpaying for runs and, you know, not really, was a belt buckle really worth two or three hundred bucks in your whole life to train for it? Plus it, 180 miles, it just seemed like a crazy enough challenge to to do. He did say 180 miles. Yeah, they were bored, so they ran 180 miles. Planned it out to leave on a Thursday morning and give ourselves four days to do it in. Push 90 miles the first night. The second night we did another 40 or 50 miles, I don't remember. And then we finished it up the next day. So all in all, it took us about two and a half days to, to complete the run between sleeping and running. A few of the stats, they slept for a little over seven hours total in two and a half days. Ran, I think the total distance was 185, right? 186. 186 miles. The first day, they ran for 22 straight hours, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, 22 straight hours the first day. 
of running. The best part of the whole run was the first night running through North Carolina into South Carolina in the dark. Absolutely the best time to be on the open road. Very little traffic. And when you run in the dark, you're only focused on 10 feet in front of you. So whatever mountainous hills are in front of you or long roads, they just disappear. Doing things, crazy runs like that, you just gotta, gotta know that there is a, there is a second wind and dig deep and find it. Most people don't even get to the end of their first win before they uh, realize they have a second win. They just decided to quit instead of pushing through that little bit of pain and, and discomfort. And uh, if you want to make those goals, you really got to dig in. And... Stuff like this is what inspires me. And I know some of y'all watching this will never set out on a 185 mile run. Like, you know, that's just not a reality for a lot of people. But what he said about catching the second wind, you know, the thing that we promote at the Suffer Club is don't be upset with the results you get from the effort you did not put in. So put in every effort give it everything don't leave anything on the table use all of your resources so i really hope that you enjoyed this video as much as i did brian is a true inspiration and these are the types of videos that we love to share so if you've got a story reach out to us leave us a comment we would love to share your story if this video inspired you hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like we got some more videos on the way we did it. Adios. Miles, baby.